Hey guys, have you ever 3D printed something where you really need sharp corners but you always get the rounded edges just because how 3D printing works? Uh, well, let me tell you how to fix that today. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, use a little thing called slicer manipulation, which I talked about in the previous video, where you design something based on the way the slicer acts. So since we have a 0.4 millimeter nozzle on our 3D printer, uh, we obviously can only make gaps in my experience of let's say 0.1 millimeter that it will actually follow but if you make it a uh, 0 0.01 uh, the nozzle basically just ignores it but the slicer does not because the slicer uses reasoning where the basically the nozzle just follows along whatever the slicer says so anyways by creating this gap we go ahead and slice into the model let me finish that up real quick though uh, we slice into the model just like if you need a perfect angle just maybe a few I don't know 0.8 millimeters it'll make the nozzle go around and come back but if we want a stronger part we go deeper into the nozzle let's say a few millimeters uh, so what would what that would do is that would anchor the, the part into the bigger part and instead of being easy to break off or have the hinge right on the end we have a perfect 90 degree angle first of all and then let me show you in transparent here we also have a part that's seated into the other part creating it an anchor as I said earlier and now we have a much stronger part. It won't break easily and it looks much better. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and like it, share it, subscribe if you like it and want to see more of it. I always do something in Shaper. I always do something in 3D printing. And as always, have a great one and I'll see you guys in the next one.